Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. He's the man who's teaching small business how to embrace social media, the king of tweets. Ooh, they have the internet on computers now. To start, press any key. Where's the any key? Jim Blassingame, the Small Business Advocate. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for staying with me. My pleasure to continue to be with you, and especially when I get a chance to introduce you, to reintroduce you to someone who's been a hero of mine for a long time. Long before I knew him, I admired his uh, his statesmanship. I admired his service to our country. Governor Pete DuPont is here. He's the former governor of the great state of Delaware, former chairman of the national, uh, he isn't currently the chairman of the National Center for Policy Analysis, once upon a time was a member of Congress and a candidate for president. And uh, he's our, now a member of our brain trust, and I know that's probably really high on his list. <laughs> Governor DuPont, welcome back to the show. Well, Jim, thank you. My problem is my brain is probably not good enough for your trust. Uh, you, you, oh, no. You're a very highly qualified group of people. <laughs> well, you're on the top of our list, Governor. And uh, Something happened. We got a little news to report. Uh, yesterday, last night, actually, the House of Representatives voted 45, 245 to whatever was left. Uh, what would that be, two, uh, uh, 210 or whatever? Uh, what would that be? I've forgotten, 190, something like that. Anyway, uh, in favor of uh, repealing Obamacare. Now, elections matter, don't they, Governor? They really do matter, and this, uh, this health healthcare thing has been uh, the top of the list ever since the bill has passed. And it's, what, 210 pages or something. Uh, 2,000 pages. 2,010 pages. uh, And uh, that's one of the problems. And uh, you recall uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi once said it didn't matter to read the whole thing, just vote. Right. Uh, So when you read the whole thing and you discover in there that uh, the government's going to take all kinds of uh, regulatory positions on uh, what we can do for our health care. Now, some of it doesn't start for another year or so. Right. But it's all coming along unless they modify it somehow. Well, you said you said it's going. Some of it doesn't start for a couple of years. The funding of it, the taking money out of our pocket, starts right now. But the the benefits start three or four years later. So I mean, who ever heard of who ever heard of uh, of of charging people for something for ten years and only giving it to them for six years? Well, that's exactly right. And the ten years uh, ten years of uh, of additional taxes that are in it. Uh, are simply going to fund it for six years. In other words, it's going to be a very expensive program. Right. And I would guess uh, the, the Congress is going to have to decide, if the bill is, is still there, uh, Congress is going to have to decide to add more taxes uh, after three or four years in order to, in order to keep it going. Well, the, what the House did last night is a token gesture because the Senate is still controlled by the the other side of the aisle from the people who are responsible for the passing of the thing of the repeal last night, the Democrats, and they're not going to, it's not going to pass unless, unless the Republicans can convince a handful of Democrats to come to cross the aisle, which is not impossible, but probably a hard thing to do. But ultimately in the next two years, governor Obama, I mean, president Obama is not going to, he's going to, he's not going to sign the law. He'll veto it, and and they won't be able to override it. So, basically, it's just a little fisticuffs thing here until the big act in 2012, isn't it? Well, that's true. But I think what the House is going to do, I think the the, uh, the people in control of the House, uh, the Republicans in control of the House, realized that they could pass it, but the Senate probably or they could repeal it, and the, and the uh, Senate probably wasn't right. going to. So, I think what's going to happen next is that the House is going to take. A lot of little pieces of it, uh, repealing this, uh, doing away with the money for that. Uh, and they're going to send little bills like that uh, over to the Senate. Mm-hmm. And, of course, uh, Senator Harry Reid doesn't want to vote on any of them. But I think there's going to be some Democrats who think uh, there's some good amendments uh, right. to the health care plan. So I think it's going to be uh, a, a serious issue for a long while. It's going to be problematic for for the proponents of this of the health care bill of Obamacare to make it actually happen. Uh, and and I'll tell you my opinion, and as I've said many times, Governor, 
I want this thing pulled out by the roots. I want there to be no vestiges of it left. I want to start over again. And one of the things that troubles me is when people say, well, well, you know, where are the other side's ideas? Well, the thing is, and I say when we say the other side, I'm not talking about Republicans. I'm talking about people like like me and, and you and Grace Marie Turner. Uh, with Galen Institute, who have have and 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 uh, Governor Mike uh, Inzi from from Montana, who proposed things like medical savings accounts, uh, which is which John Goodman, your friend, uh, invented. Also, uh, uh, association health plans. These are all things that have been proposed and have been killed in the past several years. Well, that's true, and there's there's a whole lot of good things that could be done. I mean, the, the simplest thing to do. Uh, is to give uh, all Americans the opportunity to buy health care uh, yeah. from any state in the union as right. opposed to the state they live in. That, which, would be a, that would just bring an enormous market which pressure the, into health care and improve all of it. Which the Association of Health Plans would, would have provided for. And by the way, folks, I didn't mean to say medical savings accounts had been killed. They're still H, health savings accounts. HSAs are still very much viable, but they need to be promoted more. We're going to talk some more about this with Pete DuPont after these messages. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited.